very much put in place a citizen-based monitoring framework that is a participatory monitoring framework. This is not an online self-assessment done by national governments who have been the judge and the jury of their own performance. This is about bringing the primary bearers of risk, affected populations, into the monitoring process, into the monitoring process. And doing it in a way that is, you know, we found that if you have a participatory monitoring process, it's actually an empowering process. It creates awareness. It opens up dialogue at the local level. It starts to create conversations. It starts to build mutual understanding between local communities, local authorities, local civil society organizations. And this, you know, this is the essence of collaboration and partnerships, is having these dialogues, starting to have conversations, starting to build up mutual understanding understanding the different roles and responsibilities of the different players. So, it will establish a baseline. It will be used to complement the, the government monitoring process. So we're not trying to do an alternative or, you know, an, 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 an another monitoring process. It's one that, by looking at the knowledge that's gained from the top-down formal official monitoring process, we will complement that with a rich data coming up from a more bottom-up citizen-based perspective. And between understanding those two sets of information and other information, we will build a richer picture of actually what those local level realities are. So that's what we're, we're trying to do. Um, there's a bit of a delay on this. Uh, Okay, basically there's going to be three parts to the survey. Obviously we've got to uh, provide a little bit of context. At the beginning we'll, you know, who are the people that are actually being, uh, being interviewed? You know, what, what's the uh, locations? What's the risk profile? It's going to be a representative sampling approach. So we want to, uh, you know, urban areas, rural areas, depending on what the risk profiles in those different countries are. And then we're going to look, you know,